located a stone's throw from the geographical center of the continental United States is the town of Smith Center, Kansas. Population around 1700. Smith Center is surrounded by miles and miles of soybean and cornfields and at first thought an unlikely place for an RV manufacturer. But Smith Center is home to Peterson Industries, the maker of XL fifth wheel and travel trailers. And if you're a serious RVer, then you already know that XL is the nation's top rated fifth wheel trailer. To find out how the company built such a great reputation and how it continues to set the pace in this fast growing industry, we asked Brian Tillett, the president of Peterson Industries, to tell us how it all started. Peterson Industries was founded in 1966 by Vaughn Peterson and his father Leonard Peterson. Uh, they started out here in Smith Center, Kansas, and Vaughn had just gotten out of the military and he decided he wanted to come to Smith Center to make his home. And he decided that uh, if he was ever going to create any wealth, he'd need to get into manufacturing something. So him and his dad, Leonard, decided they wanted to start building slide-in pickup campers. And here we are 47 years later and we're still here. Now, the burning question is, why Smith Center, Kansas? Vaughn was born and raised in Smith Center, Kansas, and his dad and mom had a John Deere dealership and a furniture store here in town. So this is a great little community to live in and it's a great place to raise a family and, and the work ethic here is phenomenal. I've often heard that XLRVs are overbuilt. So I asked Brian how would he describe his trailers? Overbuilt. We cater to a very specific clientele. Our average buyers in their mid 60s and at least 70% of our clients are full timers or serious snowbirders and we warranty for that and we guarantee for that and uh, uh, it takes a very specific type of a unit to be able to withstand living in it 24 hours a day, seven days a week. With many XL owners using their units even in the winter, the company also offers a one-of-a-kind guarantee as Brian explains. We started the minus 10 degree guarantee in the early 2000s and to this day, we are the only company in the industry that will actually guarantee that our customers won't freeze any of their water system up down to 10 below zero. That's with no skirting and uh, no special modifications at all. Every coach that leaves Smith Center, Kansas is guaranteed against freezing up down to 10 below zero. No other manufacturer offers that. When we come back, we'll learn a lot more about the company and its line of trailers. But first, we have to take this short break. Peterson Industries has been in the forefront of developing quite a few ideas that have become industry firsts. And one idea was termed the Drop Z Frame. So what is a Drop Z Frame? The Drop Z is basically just a, a name that we coined for the frame where just in front of the axles it drops down about 10 inches and then goes forward so that the the basement storage is increased tremendously and with the drop z frame came a lot of side benefits that we weren't counting on when we did it originally the main purpose was to increase storage but we found out that it gave us a lower center of gravity uh, so that we have better towability. There's less distance between the frame and the ground, so you get less wind turbulence under the trailer, less drag, and better fuel economy. Just how many product lines does XL offer? We have three product lines. We offer the Winslow series, and then we offer the limited edition series. The Winslow is available in fifth wheels and travel trailers. The limited series is available in fifth wheels only. We also offer a third line called the Wild Cargo. It's a toy hauler. All of our products are very high end. Structurally, there's virtually no difference between a Winslow and a limited edition. The biggest difference is that the limited edition comes standard with a gel coat molded fiberglass roof. The Winslow and the Wild Cargo is only available with the EPDM rubber roof, 
or now we offer the new Rhino Eco Coat roof for those two product lines. The Limited has more features and amenities as standard, but most of those features can be optioned into a Winslow, with exception of the roof. And like other XL products, its wild cargo tow hauler is, of course, overbuilt as we go on to learn. We offer a 2,000 pound payload capacity in our wild cargo series. And we were one of the last companies to get into toy haulers. I kept thinking, well, my clientele in their mid-60s, that I don't have a market for a toy hauler. Well, I was being pushed into a corner by my dealers and by several customers. I would always get asked at shows, why don't we have a toy hauler? So finally, we decided to start studying that a little bit. And what we found out was that there is a large segment of our clientele that do still have toys. They have golf carts, they have Harleys, and they have four-wheelers. But the interesting thing is that when they come in at night and they're done riding, they can shut the door to the garage and they're still in their XLs. Dad likes to go out and ride, but at night, Mom still wants to be in her XL. So our toy hauler, when you shut the door to the garage, you don't even know you're in a toy hauler. We don't do the black and white checkered floors. We don't do the 800 watt stereo system, the black leather sofas. It's all residential inside. And the toy hauler is also guaranteed down to 10 below zero against freeze up. You know all those fireplaces you just see in so many RVs? Care to guess where that trend started? We were the first to offer a fireplace in an RV. Uh, this came about in the late 90s and uh, we jumped through hoops to try to get approval to put a gas fireplace in our RV. And we finally got the approval to do that. And we offered a gas fireplace. And everybody that came in thought it was an absolute great concept. It only had one problem, is that you could run the fireplace for about 15 minutes and it would just cook you out of the trailer. So uh, it made a great showpiece. It was great to have a mantle and, and at Christmas time, you could put your stockings on the mantle. As a matter of fact, it made the cover of Trailer Life on their Christmas issue, and they had stockings by the mantle. And uh, since that time, some companies have jumped on board and created some really nice looking electric fireplaces. And that's kind of an industry standard today. But that first fireplace came out of Smith Center, Kansas. While touring the factory, I noticed among other things that XL was making its own mattresses. And I had to ask, why? The reason also explains what we mentioned earlier about the advantages of being located in the middle of nowhere. Why do we make our own mattresses? Well, this started years and years ago. Uh, as you know, when you came to Smith Center, Kansas, we're a long ways from anywhere. We're 75 miles from the closest Walmart and we're 65 miles from the closest McDonald's. So getting finished product in here, such as furniture and mattresses and, and uh, finished goods is really difficult. Plus, we feel that we can control the quality much better. So we started out, we made our own mattresses and we were buying our box springs for a while. Uh, when box springs really took off, we began also building our own box springs. And incidentally, we are the only company in the industry that I know of that actually puts a box spring under our mattress. Most others just throw it on a piece of plywood. And with our buyers, 70% of them being full-time RVers, they need a good residential sleep. So we can control the quality, plus we provide another job in Smith Center, Kansas. It's obvious that Peterson Industries has taken the disadvantages of its location and turned them into positives by building and controlling the quality of its components. The other advantages is the company's skilled and dedicated workforce. We had the opportunity to talk with Amanda Winter about working at Peterson Industries. I've been with the company just a little over 27 years. My actual job when I started here was I worked in the cabinet shop for about the first six months. And back then we drew everything by hand. Each person took care of their own drawings. And six months after I started here, they decided that they were gonna move up into the new age of computers. And my first computer that I actually started drawing on, they, we had a little, um, a little interview within the plant and, and I 
was the lucky one. Started out with a little Apple II computer and uh, everything was 2D, like little stick figure drawings, and uh, that's what I've been doing ever since. I do have another job other than CAD. Uh, a year and a half ago, I took over the cabinet shop, and it's been a, a great experience with that. Uh, I, I love working woodworking, and I love working with uh, the folks that I have downstairs. It's, it's amazing. Everyone downstairs is extremely proud of what they do here, not just in the cabinet shop, but in the entire plant. Um, you know, we look at it as we're building someone's home, and each one of our employees takes that to heart. They take pride in their work, and when that trailer goes out the east door, our finished department, everyone just looks at it in awe because they did that. Coming up after the break, we'll head out to the factory floor and see what goes into building XL trailers. Welcome back, and now let's head out to the factory floor. Virtually everything on an XL starts with raw stock or material, starting with the frame. No offside vendor frames here. Each piece of metal used on the frame from the large main rails to the smallest brackets are fabricated right here in-house. By the way, speaking of frames, all XL frames are made from box tubes, not I-beams, which give the frame twice the strength. Once all the pieces are cut, everything is welded together into an overbuilt, strong chassis. Next, the frames are sprayed with a tough protective finish and head out onto the line, where all the hydraulic lines, hoses, and wiring are installed. In the meantime, the floor is being built in a separate area. Then, the floor is brought over, positioned, and secured in place. Meanwhile, over in another section of the plant, workers are framing the sidewalls and insulating the heck out of them before they head over to the lamination department. As you walk down a ways, you'll see finished sidewalls stacked side by side just waiting to be installed in the next unit. At this stage of production, there are so many things going on concurrently, including slide-outs being built, complete with furniture and accessories, and at the same time, another person is finishing up the hydraulic manifold hookups. At another station, a roof is being installed, and it doesn't take long once it's in place before another crew starts installing the vents and skylights along with all the trim. And a few more feet down the line, the front and rear caps are put on. With all the exterior work being wrapped up, other staff members are working on the interior. Window frames and balances are being installed, as well as refrigerators and fixtures. And of course, those widescreen TVs. Speaking of interiors, as Brian mentioned, RV interiors, especially high-end RVs, are looking more and more residential. All you have to do is look inside a new Winslow model and you'll understand what he means. Go ahead, take a look around. Is this luxurious or what? All that fine cabinetry and woodwork you see in the Winslow is done right here in Smith Center. Using fine select woods, not particle board, each frame, cabinet door, and molding is cut and finished by a team of skilled men and women. Why, even the furniture, like the dining tables and chairs, couches, and other furnishings, are assembled and upholstered in XL's own furniture department. Now you have an idea why XL is rated the top fifth wheel in the country. Some folks would say they're perfect, but Brian says, until God starts building RVs, we'll settle for close to perfect. But just in case something does go wrong with one of the units, the company has built a first-class customer service center virtually across the street from the factory. The service center is equipped to handle any repair or restoration work, even if it's another brand. The center includes a retail store, two customer lounges, laundry facilities, and plush bathrooms with showers. Like their trailers, it looks like XL even overbuilt their service center.